Well, I know this looks scary because they got an alpha in there, float and run, all this junk. Um, but they've set this up so that you can see what, what at least a starting point for this is to expand out both, both of those sets of parentheses. Okay? So remember when we square something that's being added, even though this looks complicated, this is just one thing plus another thing and we're squaring them. Okay? And when you square something like that, you don't just get them both squared. Okay, you gotta foil it out really. But if you foil it out, you will always get the first one squared, which is x squared sine squared alpha, plus two times both of them. Okay? So that's two xy sine alpha cosine. I heard someone say, what's alpha? Alpha is just a variable. Okay, it's a Greek letter. They're using it just like it's x or something. Yeah. Why do you separate x sine? What do you mean? Why, 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 why do I separate what? Oh, just usually if you're multiplying trig stuff with other crap, you just put the other stuff out front. It's the same thing. I'm, I'm like simplifying it so it's easier to see. Because if, if you have um, 2x sine alpha, y cosine alpha, whatever, it looks because y kind of gets lost in there. Cool? So just move it, move it to, to the back. So really, look, we're multiplying, although, again, this looks like a ton, we're just multiplying five things. A 2, an x, a y, a sine of something, a cosine of something. Okay? And at the end of that, we're going to have y squared cosine squared alpha. Is that okay? And to that, now I'm going to run out of room on my screen, so I'm going to just put it right underneath of it, but we're going to add this thing here, which is just something minus something squared. And the rule for that is, so we have a big plus here, we're going to have x squared so cosine alpha squared, right? Minus all of them multiplied together and doubled. So 2xy sine alpha, cosine alpha, these alphas are annoying, and then plus y squared sine squared alpha. Everybody okay with that? All I, all, I didn't do anything fancy, I just squared out both sets of parentheses, and we're adding them together, so you can see hopefully when you add these together, the middle parts are going to cancel. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, so this, this looks kind of common, but here's here's the rule, just to write it out. If you have A plus or minus B and you're squaring it, but A and B can be anything. In this case, A is X sine alpha and B is Y cosine alpha in the first set of parentheses, right? All you will ever get is the first thing squared plus or minus, depending on what the sign was here originally, two times both of them plus the last thing squared. Okay, that's a rule. If you don't know it, write it down somewhere. Put it in a box. Okay? I'm not showing this to you for fun. I don't want to have to show it to you again tomorrow. I want you should know this. It's from the algebra 2. All right? So, let's get rid of that. So, that's all That's all I did. And now you can see the middle terms cancel. So, we're going to be left with x squared, cosine squared. Yeah, let's write this out, I guess. Cosine squared alpha plus x squared sine squared alpha plus y squared cosine squared alpha plus y squared sine squared alpha. Is that okay? And what you're supposed to like see in this case here is that you've got all these cosine squares and sine squares, and if I can add them together, they're going to be a 1. Okay? The problem is we have this dumb like variables in front of them, so what am I going to do with these first two things? What can we factor out? And x squared, right? If you take that x squared out of there, all we're left with then is a cosine squared plus sine squared. And although that looks really complicated, that's just x squared times 1, technically. But we'll write it out. Is that okay? That's what that becomes. We took out the x squared. Then over here, we're going to have y squared times cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. And again, alpha is just there. It's a Greek letter. It's just a variable. But if you have cosine squared something plus sine squared to something, that will always and forever be 1. So that's just x squared times 1 plus y squared times 1. 